Yo, welcome back to a new video and today we're going to be uh, installing free games to our Xbox 360. Uh, so if you enjoyed the video at any point in time then make sure to leave a fat like and subscribe if you're new because we're almost at 40k and I've got big surprises coming up for that so make sure you subscribe. Uh, but yeah, um, as I said today we're going to be installing uh, free games to our Xbox 360 and of course we will be needing a couple of things to do this. So. Uh, number one, <clears throat> uh, we're going to need a computer, it could be a laptop, it can be a desktop, but in this case I'm going to be using a desktop. Uh, you're also going to be needing a USB, now you don't need to have it, but it's the best way to do it. And if you do want to do it on a USB, um, then you're going to need a USB that's got quite a lot of memory because you need to fit the game on there. So um, have a USB that's enough to put a game on there. And third of all, you will need a modified Xbox 360. So, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, as I said, and yeah, let's get straight into it. Okay, so uh, we're going to be on a computer at first, and there's going to be two things we will need to download. Uh, number one will be the Mega Downloader. Um, this allows you to download games, um, like, yeah, it, it just allows you to download games, put it that way. And then there's going to be another text file, it's going to be 100 game downloads, okay? Now, I will be leaving the link in the description, so you don't need to worry, you don't need to go to like another videos and all that. I don't even know if there's another video about this. Uh, there probably is, but I haven't looked it up. But I'll be leaving the link in the description as always. So, uh, all you want to do is you want to go and open the Mega download, um, drag these two files to your desktop. You don't have to, but it makes it just makes it so much easier. So you're gonna open it up, and yeah, as you can see, this is the games I've already downloaded. Um, you got Bo One, Bo Two, War of War, and Family Guy. I did Family Guy last night because today um, I'm gonna be showing you um, Family Guy. I have never installed it yet, but I know how to. So, and I've never played the game. So all you wanna do to add a game. I first go to file, no no don't go to file, uh, you need to click, right click and then click add links. It's going to bring up a little box right here. So all I want to do now is just move it wherever you want to, I'm just going to put it there. And we're going to go back to the, the 100 game download uh, text, okay. Now this is where you would choose the game that you want to have. Now. I'm just going to pick a random game for t today's tutorial. Uh, we're going to do, let's see. Uh, fuck it, let's just do Toy Story 3. Uh, so you, as you can see, you've got the download link here, it's in the mega link. And you got a little proof of a virus scan, so you're not going to get a virus when you're downloading it, so it's all good. So what I'm going to do is just copy it. And as you can see, the link will go on to uh, into here. So this is where you're just going to type the name. This is where the name of the file would be. So I'm just going to call it Video Proof. Oh, there we go. And then you're just going to, on the path, you're going to want to choose where you want to save it. So I'm just going to put Desktop. And after you do that, just click on the link, I'm pretty sure, if I'm right, uh, one sec, oh no, I think you add, yeah, you add it, sorry about that, you add it, and then as you can see, it's downloaded, now this game is 4 gigabytes, so it's not going to take me too long to download, and with the file, here we go, the file, this is the folder right here, and when it's done, it would have the game inside it, okay, so this will normally take me about 10 minutes to download, so it's all about your internet speed and how big the game is. But I am going to uh, cancel that because I downloaded Family Guy last night and I'm making the tutorial quicker. So I download downloaded Family Guy last night and here's the folder right here. So what I'm going to do now is open it up. And as you can see, you got Family Guy RGH. Um, 
So all you want to do now, drag that to your desktop. I'm just going to open it up just to make sure all the files are in here. Yep, all the files are in here. So all you want to do now is right click on it and extract here. This may take a little bit of time, so I'm going to speed up the. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to come back when it's done. All right, as you can see, it's done now. All uh, right, so all you want to do now is go to the folder. Um, it should be called whatever the game and then RGH, because there will be another folder right here, but you, you don't need that, don't you? So, <laughs> this bye, delete it. <laughs> all right, uh, go on it, and there we go. We have the game on here. We got all the files to the game. Uh, so I'm gonna do now. He's gonna get your USB stick. Well, there's actually two options. You can do it now, okay? One, you turn on you turn on your Xbox right now. You go to the dashboard. You stay at the dashboard. You go to Xbox 360 neighborhood right here. My Xbox is not on, so it's not gonna show up. Uh, but you know, you click JTAG. You go on it. And then you go to your HD and then drag and drop the folder on there. Now, I've never done that because one, that's just gonna be a pain in the ass. It's gonna take it's gonna take quite a bit of time and it's just gonna slow your computer down, whatever. So, what I normally do, I get my USB. I said make sure you have a USB that has enough for the game. What you're gonna do is drag and drop the game into your USB stick, and after that, um. You're gonna put into your Xbox, so that's what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna catch you guys when my USB, well, when the game, the folder is on my USB on my Xbox. So I catch you guys when I've done that. So as you can see, I'm on the 360 right now, and I have my USB plugged in. And I forgot to say, when you're putting the folder onto your USB, it will take quite a bit of time, depending on the size of the game. It took me about 10 to 15 minutes. But anyway, all you want to do now is go to XEX menu 1.2. And remember, guys, do not sign into your profile right now when you go into XEX menu. Anyway, you're going to click RB and you're going to uh, see that you got USB in and you're going to see the game that you chose. So I got Find Me Guy LGH. Now, at this point, you can just load the game or you can do what I did you copied the game. And then you go to your HDD and then you paste it in there. Now this is going to take a while, a little while, about another five, ten minutes to transfer all the files, depending on the size of your game. And I did not play this online because my time on Ninja expired um, last night, so I haven't bought, bought any more time just at the moment. But this does work online. But when I showcase it, it will be offline. So as you can see, I have skipped it and it's almost done. And what I did after it was 100% completed, I plugged unplugged my USB just to prove that it does work without a USB um, in your Xbox. So as you can see, it's at 99%, and any second now, there we go, 100%. So I take my USB out right now, and then I just click X just to show you that I only have my HDD in right here. So after that, um, I just go down to the game, and remember, I can't play online. Uh, but anyway, so I went to find the guy RGH and I loaded the game. Um, it did ask me to sign in and I did block out some of my gaming tags because some of them are not mine and some of them um, you can't add. But I did have the gaming tag show up that you can add. But anyway, um, so I'm just going to show you a little bit of gameplay um, of the game. And as I said before, I've never played the game before, so it was my first time playing. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And let me know in the comments if you tried it and it worked. Remember, you do need a modified console and a computer to do it. I said, leave a smash a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, uh, share my channel around because we're almost at 40k and I can't wait to hit that. So, uh, have a great day, guys, and I'll catch you guys in my next video.